So my name is Nikolai Kacilov. I'm uh, working at Helmholtz Centrum Berlin. So I'm responsible for the neutron imaging instrument uh, at the BER2 reactor. First I'll start with the principle of uh, imaging. It's a very simple geometry or very simple principle. We have uh, for sure source and detector, so we can put the sample between the two of them. And then we have a, a shadow imaging, or we, we start the neutrons from here, and then we have a shadow image of the sample on the detector. So what we have is just the transmission, what we have through the sample. In the reality, in our case, we have a neutron guide. So this means that our source has some, some rectangular shape. And uh, the dimensions are quite large, so it are a few centimeters, tenth of centimeters in one or a few centimeters in the other direction. This means that if you want to point uh, one uh, or depict one point from the sample on the detector, we'll have something like this, just ray starting from here. But of course, because of the extension of the source, we'll have also a ray coming from the other part. And one point of the sample will be projected as a spot on the detector. This spot is limiting our spatial resolution or the sharpness of our image. For our purposes we want to get as sharp as possible images or uh, as much as better resolution. This means that this geometrical blurring should be reduced or minimized. One thing or one solution is to put this, the sample close to the detector, then this spot will become small. Or we can make the source small, reduce the size of the, so uh, of the source, then this spot will become as well small. For some samples, there is no way to put them closer to the detector because for tomography, for example, we should rotate the sample. And in this case, uh, there is no possibility to go closer as possible to the detector. That's why the, samples, uh, the source size is a very crucial point for us, so we should make it as small as possible. In our case, we are using neutron guide, so we can use for this case neutron optical component or neutron optics in order to focus the neutrons in a small spot here. So in our project, we used this neutron guide, which is elliptically shaped or elliptical neutron guide, in order to focus the neutrons in a small spot here in the focal point. So the idea was to put the guide just behind the, the, the main guide or the focusing guide behind the main guide and to focus the neutrons in a small spot and use this conical shaped uh, uh, beam for imaging. So um, this was very successful and the resolution what we achieved was really uh, very impressive. Mm -hmm. 